Hotel, the road, the most beautiful house, which is uh, located to the downtown. It's uh, in 209 Main Street. This house has a lot of stories, and most of it is a sad story. So this house was uh, owned by Tony, and it is uh, one of his businessman and he started to build it in 1900s. But the sad thing, he was died, died before they finished it. So they finished it in 1904 and when he did, uh, his family decided to sell it to family called Housework. So in 1924, uh, the house was approached by Mr. Frank and his brother. They, uh, they owned a very big oil company. And uh, in 1939, uh, Fletcher kept his family employed during the filming of the Northwest Passage. Uh, but his wife wanted to move to the Mako, and if they don't, he should to uh, build a swimming pool, and he did that. So when so when they already moved to the house, they had a, a daughter named Zola. She was five years old at the time, and she tried to play back at the swimming pool, and suddenly she drowned in the swimming pool and passed away. So people start for this house, a uh, haunted house, because of the story of Zola. This is the house from outside. So when people call the haunted house, uh, after household family, other families live in the house, and many many people say uh, so. The ghost of Zola in the house. The ghost actually is around the neighbors. They stay in the house, and they some of them say they saw the ghost at the second floor of the house, opening and closing the windows, and open the light and close also. So nobody likes it after this story. So actually and at the same time they find the stone of solar inside the uh, fireplace, this is the first place, fireplace when they went to fix something in the house. Science then no family wants to live in the house and the owner decided to make the house commercial commercial building. So now I'll talk about architecture and construction <coughs> uh, The house design has a, as you see, has a crafts, craftsman style. And the first floor is made of sandstone and second floor is made out of wood. The house is really big, as you see guys. and. Nice has a wing to cover the front approach. It's amazing and beautiful in the sunny days, especially in the summer. And also has a beautiful sunroom back. It's really big. Uh, they designed it as a government heating uh, system. So it's also uh, Two-story building, first floor is old style and second floor is modern style. They they uh, built it as a plant with natural and used to be a swimming pool. So now I will talk about the eight interesting things about this house. As you hear that the, this house is the dream of Coney. The only windows from 1900s and uh, the, the house used to be a restaurant and art gallery and home destruction center. It has six rooms, each floor, and one and a room. Yeah, this is about the house. Does anybody have a question? They say yes, they hear something you know, in the morning. But did you see it? Uh, no, I was.
Is there a reason they did the bottom floor sandstone and the top wood? Did they stop construction and then pick back up with wood? Or uh, no, just, is that as the original you did, uh, from the beginning they just finished it in four years. They started with uh, limestone and then the timber floor from wood. I don't know, they didn't know church in 1900 and in 1902 they built the chapel. Does anybody want to guess what they paid to build the chapel in 1902? 25000 in 1902. The uh, architecture is a country gothic style. It's modeled after an old English church and as you can see as a lot of the other cathedrals here there's a Christopher uh, the bishop's chair, if you look up in the front left, it's called a cathedral, and that's actually what makes a cathedral a cathedral. A uh, church without a cathedral is just a church. Uh, it's built with limestone from the quarry above the old pen, the same quarry that a lot of the buildings have been made from, and some of the local down here, these plinth blocks that are sticking out from the walls support the arches, and those blocks actually support the roof, the entire weight of the roof, it transfers the weight down into the basement, the foundation, and the roof was made out of slate tiles, and it's been replaced with a lighter composite shingle. window, Tiffany stained glass window, was added at the east transept wall, which back when it was built, there was no east transept. They ran out of money, and that transept was added until later. This window is insured for a million dollars now. This bell tower was added in memory of World War, II, World War I in 1925. And inside is gongs. They're not really bells, a swinging bell. They're a computerized gong that are, that are designed to play different tunes at different times in the day, and they'll actually play hymns at noon. So in 1961, they added this vestibule. Uh, it used to be when you could just walk in, you would walk straight into the church, and now they have the vestibule and the choir loft. Organ. That organ was built at the time for 40000 and it's now worth about $1.5 million. So as I said, this east transept over here was added in 1976 for $70,000. It used to just cut off. So, in closing, I've talked to you about some of the history, the architecture, and some of the construction and remodels that have happened over the years. Anybody have any questions? The, the chair, the bishop's chair. In the front of the church, there's a chair that's strictly for the bishop. And without that 
chair and that chair is called a cathedra and without that chair a church is not a cathedral right um, right up there you can see it says cathedra bishop's chair just that one spot yeah. so that church that sits on the corner of the stadium so that's where it first started and it moved here yeah yeah they started there 